Good morning. I actually am going to have a cup of tea first before I do anything else. I have this Gothenburg tea. <laughs> I bought it when I was in Gothenburg uh, before Christmas at some point. It's September, I think it was. So it's just like a black tea blend. So nothing spectacular or anything. But that's what I really want, a cup of tea before I start the day. I normally drink coffee, but today I really wanted tea. I drink my tea with some milk and I got, the <laughs> I got this oat barista version milk, uh, oat milk. But I must admit that I'm slightly disappointed by it. It's okay, but uh, I don't think it's as good as the only one. I also want some biscuits and I have these vegan Moomin biscuits and they are just so cute. I love Moomin. Do you love Moomin? I have loved them since I was a child. We had this TV series on know when they were running but uh, they were really 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 nice moving series and it was like still pictures I remember and it was the author Toby Jansson was kind of reading um, a voiceover uh, for the stories uh, and I absolutely loved them this must have been like 70s or 80s I guess it is a rainy day today so Starting the day with a cup of tea and some biscuits is just perfect, I think. I have decided that I want to make scones for breakfast. So I used this cookbook, the Vegan Baking Bible, which I absolutely love. It's probably one of my favorite vegan cookbooks. Well, cookbooks really, because I don't really have... Well, I think I have some non-vegan cookbooks, but I don't really use them. So here's the scones recipe, as you can see I've marked it because I've used it before and I'm doing the classic scones. So I'm going to take out some margarine, plain flour, baking powder, salt and yogurt and I am using a Greek style soy yogurt from Alpro that I actually bought the other day and I hadn't really planned on making scones but that's what I'm going to do so uh, here's the recipe uh, rub together the margarine plain flour baking powder and salt using your hand hands a pastry blender or a stand mixer so I'm using my hands obviously but I'm not going to hold <laughs> hold my camera or anything while I do that because my camera will end up super sticky and add the yogurt when the margarine is well distributed and knead and knead the dough do not overwork it or the scones will be chewy roll the dough out to two to three centimeters thick press out the scones using a round cutter place on a baking tray and bake in the middle of the oven at 250 degrees celsius for 10 to 15 minutes so that's what i'm going to do so now i have to just grab all my stuff and start making the scones a master baker and I don't know how these will turn out they look okay but we'll see so there's seven of them
with the scones we're having vegan butter or margarine and also strawberry jam and this jam is probably my favorite store-bought jam it's from Kulumi again so strawberry and raspberry from the same uh, these jams taste really nice for drinks we're having orange juice and fizzy water with I think this is lime yeah this is lime uh, that's my biggest weakness I guess <laughs> fizzy water love fizzy water so this looks slightly unevenly baked but other than that they look fine so, I think they're really nice nice enough I made cookie dough yesterday for tahini chocolate chips cookies. I've made them once before and they turned out really really nicely so I wanted to make them again. Yet again I am using the vegan baking bible. If you are interested in getting this cookbook for yourself just wanted to add that I'm not sponsored but I just love absolutely love this cookbook. If you are interested in getting it yourself, I will leave a link down in the description box uh, so that you can go buy it. It's an affiliate link, so that means that when you buy it, you will get it to no extra cost, but I will get a really small commission. It's not really anything I make money from, but I'll, I'll uh, leave it even so. So this is the recipe and for the tahini chocolate chip cookies. Uh, that I made yesterday so it has aquafaba and plain flour and bicarbonate of soda or baking soda uh, margarine and tahini and vanilla extract and um, brown sugar and sugar and chocolate chips of course so that's the ingredients um, and uh, I followed the recipe. So I made the dough yesterday and it has been sitting in the fridge overnight and I was thinking that I would bake them. to make a simple pasta dish for dinner today so I have cut some red onion some tomato I have tin tomato margarine garlic barley chopped ginger chopped chili salt pepper I have also done a little bit of a mix of some herbs it's dried parsley dried sage dried tarragon, dried oregano and dried basil. So these are going into the tomato sauce as well. Also at the end of the cooking time I, of the sauce I'm going to put in some lime juice as well because that kind of lifts it up in my opinion. I am starting with melting the margarine. Then I am adding the red onion. And some salt. I have added some freshly ground black pepper and I'm now like simmering the onions so that they're kind of soft and after that I'm going to add the chili, garlic and ginger. I must admit that this way of doing it in the crock pot or instant pot is something I've learned from Nisha over at Rainbow Plant Life. She is one of the YouTubers I've been following for years and I love her channel and 
yeah uh, she also have like a instant pot cookbook that I really love I'll link to that down below as well and now I am adding the tomatoes and now the tint tomatoes and now I'm going to put in the herbs and then of course the bay leaf goes in the last thing I'm going to add is uh, are these veggie bowls and they are pea based and they're really nice in tomato sauce and for this tomato sauce I'm going to pick beans chili even though <laughs> it's neither and then I just start it and then in maybe 25 30 minutes the pasta sauce will be ready I am going to make some penne and I'm going to use the method where you boil up the water with the pasta in it and then when it starts boiling you turn off the heat put a lid on and let it stand until the pasta is done and by doing that you actually save electricity which is also a good thing to do I have taken out the bay leaf and I'm now going to put some lemon juice into that sauce <laughs> and what I meant to say was lime juice not lemon juice and this is the second little boat I have like two boats like this that I put in I have transferred the tomato sauce from the crock pot into the pot and this is the same pot where I boiled the pasta and then I rinsed the pasta and now I'm putting the pasta back into the sauce I have topped the pasta with some vegan parmesan or prosciano or something from the view life I'm going to show you the cheese so this is the vegan parmesan that I use um, I really like view life as a brand but they're fairly expensive here I am going to end this video by being a bit of a rebel because I have a scone and I put cream cheese on it. Also, I am going to take my vegan multivitamin for today because <laughs> I still haven't. So, vitamins and scone with cream cheese and I am also having a glass of water, of course.